Minecraft, now with additional stuff. Minecraft 1.12 should be coming out next week, and by popular request, I have updated one of my old command block contraptions, and it is the AFK World Pre-Generator, and so I'm going to show how to make it work right now. So you can create a new world in creative mode. And once that world loads, we're going to head to 0, 0 and give ourselves a command block, as this is going to be a one command block contraption. So here we are in the new world. I'm going to type TP 0, 250, 0 to bring us to the 0, 0 coordinate in this world. And it looks like we are going to land on top of some trees in a roofed forest. Next, I'm going to type give at P command block, and I hit tab to just get the tab completion of command block, to give myself a command block, and then I'm going to place it down somewhere in the world where there is sky directly above it. I'm going to right click on the command block, and I'm going to paste in a gigantic command, and the link to get this gigantic command, it will be in the description of this video. You can just copy and paste the text, and I'm going to change needs redstone to always active and say done. And that will immediately create this one command contraption, which says AFK World Generator for Minecraft 112 by Dr. Brian Lorgan 111. This one command contraption only works when placed near 00, zero which is now the world spawn. This does modify the world spawn, by the way. We'll talk about that again in a moment. Set your render distance to eight chunks. And so let me go into options and video settings, and I will turn my render distance down to eight chunks for kind of optimal working of this particular thing. And then it says, to start, run this command, scoreboard players set running, oops, at A, running one. And basically what it does is it will start teleporting us around the world in a spiral pattern, starting at zero, zero and kind of spiraling outward. And as a result, it will generate all of the chunks around the player. And we can just go AFK for a while. You can see there's the command block tower that's actually running all of this thing. We can just go AFK for some amount of time. On the scoreboard sidebar, on the right-hand side of the screen, it says radius completed so far. And that is basically how much of the world has already been generated. It goes in increments of 100. And on my machine, it probably takes about 15 minutes, for example, to generate out to 1,000, at which point all of these chunks between negative a thousand, negative a thousand, and positive a thousand, positive a thousand. So that would be a 2000 by 2000 area will have been generated. And this is just beneficial because when you're first starting a new world, sometimes you get lag as the terrain generator is actually creating the terrain. So every time you walk across a hill, there's a whole bunch of new terrain just on the horizon that needs to be generated by Minecraft that can slow down the game right as you're getting started. And so this is a way to start a fresh world that already has a bunch of terrain generated, so you don't experience that lag at the beginning. Now, I mentioned that this uh, works around 0, 0 and sets the spawn point to 0, 0. And so if you did want to use this contraption in an existing world that you already had, you can do that. But it's either going to change the world spawn point or you want to know where the world spawn point already is and write down the XZ coordinates before going to 0, 0 and running this thing. And then once you're done, teleport back to those coordinates and run the command uh, set world spawn in order to set the world spawn back to the location that it originally was. So if you want to preserve an existing world spawn, that's what you'll need to do. This command will change it to 0, 0, and you'll have to run this command from 0, 0, and then you can teleport back to wherever you wrote down your world spawn was and uh, set the world spawn back after this thing is done. You can let it run as long as you like. Uh, the longer you let it run, the more, hey, there's village, the more chunks are going to be generated and it is the case uh, in the past when I've tried to use this for a very long time. I have successfully used this to generate like tens of thousands of blocks radius around spawn. Uh, but it is the case that Minecraft sometimes will get slower or crash if you leave it running for a long, long time generating all these chunks. However, this command contraption is robust to saving and quitting. And what you would want to do is save and quit and actually completely close out of Minecraft. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm recording a video inside Minecraft. <laughs> uh, but the point is you can completely close out of Minecraft. Then you can go back in and it will just pick up where it left off. 
and that will reset Minecraft's kind of memory. And so if you do want to generate like tens of thousands of chunks, I would recommend let Minecraft run this for a couple of hours and then save and quit, completely close Minecraft, and then restart Minecraft and go back into the world and let it keep going uh, and kind of break it up into like chunks of a few hours at a time. And that's a good way to generate a super large area uh, if that's what you want to do. Then finally, once radius completed so far has become a large enough number, you've generated as many chunks as you want to and you're done working AFK, you can just do scoreboard players set at a running zero to say that you're done running it. And that will teleport you back to zero zero. It will erase all of the command block contraption that you had. Uh, it resets the daytime to zero. You could simply get rid of the command block that you're holding and say game mode zero to put yourself in survival mode and start playing Minecraft like normal and punch a tree and do all of those things. Except now, each time you you know step over the horizon, you won't experience the lag of the world generator as now we've generated uh, a number of chunks all here around spawn. So that's it. That's just an update to this one command contraption. Now for Minecraft 1.12, I'm running it in pre-7, but uh, the release should come out next week, and I don't expect anything will break between now and then, so you're welcome to use it. Check the description for the link to the giant command that you need to paste into the command block. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Minecraft command contraptions. Bye-bye.